There goes the flannel. You're so close. Feeling overloaded with information? In this lesson, we're going to make shit happen. But first, let's learn a little bit about variables in Java. Variables are containers. They hold stuff in your program, from strings, usually words and sentences, to numbers and objects. Let's do an example. Here, we set a variable pickup line equal to, hey girl, you had me at hello world. Let's break this down. In Java, we use camel case when declaring variables, so no spaces, but the second word L is capitalized. The first word string is the data type, which specifies the type of data pickup line will hold. Here's a list of the more common data types. Int holds a number. Float holds a decimal. Boolean holds true or false. Care holds a single character and string. Notice string is capitalized. That's because it's a complex data type while the others are known as primitives. All this means a string is actually an object that we can call methods on. If you've done any other coding, you probably know about functions. Well, methods are pretty much the same thing, except they exist within an object. So we can do something like string.length and it will return the length of the string. Length is a method in the string object. Of course, if we wanted to set that value to a variable, we'd have to set the type to be int because it returns a number. Strings are always enclosed in double quotes. Now that we know about variables, let's jump back into Android Studio and open the main activity Java class. In Java, the file name is the same as the class it contains. So mainActivity.java contains the main activity class. This is where the magic happens. Let's do a few things that help us get started. First, turn on line numbers by right or control clicking in the gutter, the little area to the left of the open file. Second, let's turn off automatic code folding. If you click that little plus icon next to import at the top of the page, it will unfold that bit of code. It's good to see everything that's going on when you're a noob. And let's make sure automatic importing is turned on, which means Android Studio will automatically add a line to import stuff when you use it in your code. Go into Preferences or Settings for Windows, Editor, General, Code Folding, and turn all that off. Next, go to Auto Import and make sure everything is checked. We'll show what this does in a second. Click Apply, then OK. Now back to code. Finally. We're in our main activity class and all the magic is going to happen in this onCreate method. This is what gets fired when our app opens up and where it grabs our activity main layout, XML. We're not going to be using the menu, so we can delete the rest of that code below. So hop into the curly braces in our onCreate method and create a little space below set content view. Now if we want to do something with the button, we have to select it in code somehow. So let's make a variable called clean button. First we specify the data type it's going to contain, which is button. Once we type button and hit space, we'll see that Android Studio automatically imports that button package. It's like when Mario gets the fire flower, he can shoot fireballs. And when we import button widget, we can push buttons. Then we'll name the variable clean button and then equals. And now we'll start typing find view by ID and we'll see the magic of autocomplete. It shows us the method we're trying to use and the parameters or argument it takes. So find view by ID takes an integer. Hit enter a tab and it completes the typing. Now inside here we type r.id, then the name of the ID we're looking for, so clean button, then semicolon at the end. The R is referring to resource class Android creates for you. It's basically a file where Android keeps track of all the shit you're using. But look at this red squiggly line. That's Android Studio telling us we have an error, but it also helps us fix it. If we put our cursor on it, it shows us the error of incompatible types, which means whatever find view by ID is returning doesn't match the button type of the variable. If we click the red light bulb to the left, it gives us a suggestion to fix this error. We want the first one. Cast the Android widget button, click it, and it adds button in parentheses before find view by ID. This is called typecasting. Find view by ID is returning a view, but Android doesn't automatically know what type of view it is. Is it text view, button, image view? But we know it's grabbing a button view, so we typecast it to button, and now it's the data type it was meant to be. Before we move on, let's add a comment above this explaining what we did. When learning programming, writing a lot of comments explaining what is happening in plain English is a great exercise. To write a comment, put two forward slashes, then the comment. Try to explain what we did. Last, let's make a string variable equal to a pickup line. How about, you had me at hello world. Then in the next lesson, we'll change the button text to that line when it gets clicked. And we'll see if that line got me to take off another piece of clothing.